Vias Media Network. Once again, I'm sorry, go on. So, like, you know, you're selling cars, you know, you're selling scooters mm. and cars, you know. I'm sure somebody else is doing some other business. And then, yeah, I have my own thing. Like, I reach this more number, and then <laughs> I'll feel satisfied. You know, what was the number for you? I know, I have a BYD go guide go case. Make it tipu ke pese mo khushi unsu bani. Like personal number. This is not business number. I never thought of such number in a way. Okay, this is my milestone, something like that. But I thought that I could be in. Uh, uh, number one position. <laughs> I really thought that. Sir, Azar Panse orda gadi. As a koti orda gadi, koti orda BYD gadi gudi. Sir, you this man. Uh huh. Around 4500. Yes, around 4500, 4600. Vehicle on the road. How many Toyotas do we have? Uh, would you know this number? Sorry, um, I'm uh, throwing this. No, no, you know. not, um, it's a little bit tough to calculate because we've been working for quite some time. Um, I think Toyota is known for its reliability. Yeah. There's quite a few older vehicles as well. Yeah. Um, not 100% sure on the numbers, but... Uh, Humongous. The most amount of cars in this country would be Toyota on today's date. Maybe. I don't know. No, maybe would it be? not. Maybe Maruti? not. Maruti? Maruti. Right? You have Hyundai that's doing really well. I think... Um, I don't think Toyota would be the biggest. I don't know. But the most I mean, uh, oldest and the reliable ones. The, 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 the UIOs, I mean, when you look at it, the lifespan of the vehicles, they generally last a ridiculously long time um, looking at it. And I think that's their USP. So there's quite a few older <laughs> Toyotas on the market as well. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> the one that you're, dri- that you're driving uh, as a taller, I got Ilux Koti Purano. 2020. 2020, go ahead. A couple of years ago, right? I still know a friend who has a very, very old eye, like, which I shared last time with Porto Metro Portas. Yeah, 4,500. In the span of? Seven years. Uh, no, nine years, let's say now. Nine years, yes. I know. But the most amount of cars that you sold was? Last year. Last year, yes. One year. How much did you sell? One year, last year, we sold 4,000. 4,000. Last year. How did you do it? <laughs> <laughs> I need to know as well. <laughs> we all need to know. I need to learn. <laughs> everybody needs to. Everybody who sells. Matlab chayna malai ya bai, gari, scooter, dhunga, jeski ho sayna. We need to know. How did you do it? No, it's a calculation. Tessari 4,000 bhikshu testo vane thena. But then it was always about, okay, what is now the orientation of the market? Market orientation kosta thiyo. Uh-huh. Last year, ko last year, we calculate based on the fiscal Nepalese fiscal year. So, 7980 ma total passenger vehicle import were around 8000 8, 8, to 9000 import by passenger vehicle. Out of them, around 5000 EV. Thio. Out of them, 5000 just the EV. Thio. The market was penetrating at around 50 55% around of penetrated. So, we, dis- we discussed and we had a forecast that EV market will grow now. Say 80-81 EV market will grow. We are forecasting overall size of market to increase itself. level 55% adaptation by vehicle on the road EV drive experience, OPEX cost saving, operational cost saving, drive experience People will be more attracted toward EV. We had that. Calculation. We had that, you know, kind of. Uh, we had a belief that the market size would increase, and we thought the market size would go up to fifteen thousand, fourteen thousand to fifteen thousand, and among them, EV penetration would be around fifty percent to sixty percent. That was our forecast. Zindaba hamle plan bana last year kuchhi. So, uh-huh. what happened was the market went up to sixteen thousand. Market sixteen thousand magayo, twelve thousand were EVs. The market penetration is more than 70% now. So that really helped us to drive what we, uh, to achieve the number. don't <laughs> 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 Other brands were in the position, if you calculate, if you oh. look at the data from 2010 to 2020, the top players, they used to do uh, 4,000, second used to do 3,000, the cycles huh? so, are, so Nepal is a market of 10 to 12,000, the first three players used to dominate at least 60 to 70% mm. of the market. 
the train so smashy. But the bigger picture that we are missing here is that that's really important. I'll the pill one sir. Last year we had a two years ma hamro adaptation the pay go fifty five percent uh two years ago, fifty five percent. This put you border up more than seventy percent boy. Smashy. Now if you Google the uh, country with highest EV adaptation, Nepal. Google ma dekhao dena. Nepal. It won't show. It won't show in Google. Dekhao dena. We are, you know, very much romanticized with the Scandinavian country. In Norway, ma the one in uh, five car, one in four car electric bicycle. Sweden ma yosa. Uh huh. Or ko Europe in this ma yosa bhar ra. I mean, the sari unse ni romanticized kar raha unse. The sari amle popularized bhar raha unse. But amro afni this our own country. We are one of the highest adopters of electric vehicle. At this map, any synergy, at this many other rights, uh, you know, narration can be developed. Unse many, all our energy comes from hydropower, which is totally green energy. While we do not have any coal plants, we don't have any nuclear plants. All our, uh, I, you know, the gas, uh, petrol, or diesels are imported. So, a country, a country with 100% green energy. Is adopting electric vehicle at this pace, seventy seventy five percent pace. Uh, if we can tell the story to the world, if we can tell the story in the right way to the world, then I think we can have take a leverage in multiple spectrum, be it with the uh, you know investments, green bonds, be it with the carbon credit things, be it with the you know. Uh -huh, Enhancing the eco mobility, uh, eco tourism. Post COVID, there is a mini consciousness of the eco tourism. You want to travel, but then you want to ensure that environment or the local ecosystem is there. So there are multiple, you know, avenues where you can use this our story, our story in uh, global arena to take a leverage. And this, I really believe that we should be heading into this direction. Let me go ahead and share your story as well along this line. You know, Cymex Inc. You know, how many uh, people do we have in Cymex, give or take? You know, overall, get the team of Cymex. Team is more than two hundred there right now. Two hundred people. Yes, yes, you know, yes. two hundred people and coming together and uh, ordering four thousand cars. Mm -hmm. you know? How did BYD and how did China take that? When you mentioned that, okay, we're going to order 4,000, give or take, we're going to have 4,000 cars in uh, 80, uh, 81, 82, <laughs> 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 81, you know? No, the, it's a very dynamic process. I right? didn't go to the BYD and said, okay, on the start <laughs> of day, I need 4,000 cars. On the start of fiscal year, I didn't say I'll take 4,000 cars. But what we said, what our team was very determined was, okay, let's try to penetrate the market in the maximum, fullest swing. Because we knew the more and more uh -huh. Our competitive partners, what I call them, like other brands, they are increasing the size of cake, not fighting for the pie. I, I really believe that. Mm -hmm. So the competitive partners will be coming more and more in future. So at the time, the start of the year, we had discussion that, okay, this is the time when we now be more aggressive in the market, when we launch our offense in the market. But that, that was a very crucial year for us. Then apart with the, you know, the BYD was, you know, I just, I spoke so many things about the cutting edge technologies and all, but it's also learning the process management from BYD. Like I said, how do you manage 11,000 R&D engineers? How do you manage six lakhs employees? So it's about learning the process management, the control, ta control tables, you know, the forecasting, and, you know, being prepared with what, uh, learning from the other market that already had uh, electric mobility or, adaptation going on good piece so all this fact things factored in uh -huh. we are a very young and dynamic team my among those 200 200 plus employees the median age is around 29 similar to my age and the team is very let's say the cosmopolitan team from the diverse backgrounds so then we decided okay step one let's go offense this year step two uh -huh. make sure that we had a you know kind of this management thing, smart goal, S measure smart, I mean, you know, specific, measurable, uh, achievable, uh, this kind of goal. So with month and month, we decided, okay, this is our first step. Then second month, this is our second target, third target. And then uh, we had to also kind of had a, you know, let's say in a way, uh, let's take a positive pressure on us, positive pressure. Let's keep always our feet on the toe. Let's keep always on ourselves on the toe. Let's take a positive pressure and then series of all these things, series of all these things led to, uh, what do you say, <laughs> the 4,000 vehicles <laughs> off the road.
यो काम करने आठ घंटा होने तो काम करने टाइम है ना और एक घंटा में है ना ये वड़ा ये वड़ा गाड़ी भी कैसा है क्या है ना चौपनी ब्रेकडाउन कर दी सुबह है ना इट्स जस्ट अ वन इयर थिंग दैट द बिगेस्ट चैलेंजेस नाउ द सस्टेनेबिलिटी अब तो बहुत सारी the next challenge is sustainability now yeah. ab kasari tyo figure tyo mm. uh, status maintain gari rakhne tyo stress tha hai definitely <laughs> definitely I think especially this year when you look at nada yes i mean nada auto show is happening right now yeah. like you said i think you're so right it's the same pie and you have to compete over the same thing right mm. there's nine new passenger vehicle brands coming in It's going to be a bloodbath, I think, <laughs> of competing for that. Isn't it already? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it already? I think. I think known brands. I think oh. BYD again has been leading. It's the brand that everyone knows. Um, I don't think uh, it's going to be tough for the newer brands to maintain and bring their brand up. How they're, you know, how you really have to. Because at the end of the day, I mean, yeah, product is very important. Uh-huh. It's I think the at the forefront. That's what you know. At the end, the consumer makes the decision on the product, but I think the brand behind it also matters a lot. Right now, everyone's going to be shouting the loudest, and whoever gets heard is kind. Of, I, I feel like the consumers are going to be a little bit confused, to be really honest. And you know, looking at the really high adoption rates of uh, BEV in Nepal, I think it's really important. Um, you know. Uh, to consider a few other um, aspects when you look at infrastructure, um, when you look at government support as well, mm. um, we have to try and understand where exactly we're going to go. Um, you know, I'm so happy that we're the largest adopter. I keep telling people outside that we're actually one of the largest adopters yes. in the world. It's not this, just the Scandinavian It's country. Not. Yes, <laughs> yes. I mean, they have their all their ways of, uh, you know. No, that's why we are talking Scandinavian because we feel romanticized by them. Tita. Yeah, Norway ma isto bayo, Sweden ma isto. Family got that. Exactly. That's the thing. So I think um, looking at that, it's important to also look at because I think it's important to have a ten-year plan when you go such a rapid switch as well. At least the policymakers should understand. Okay, this is our ten-year goal, and these let us know as well. You know, my biggest shock when I came back from the states was policy switched overnight. You're not yes. told. At least give us a plan. Like if you tell us we want to go 100% be EV by 2030, we'll all work together. We'll help you put up your charging stations. We'll help you make better roads. We'll help you get better technology. तपाईले हाम्रो क्लिप एकदमै एन्जॉय गर्नु भयो होला. अब पुरै भिडियो हेर्नको लागि चाहिँ युट्युबमा सब्स्क्राइब गर्न नबिर्सिनु होला. Vias Media Network.